Okay, in the previous part we did set up a basic character with a firing animation. So in this part, maybe let's try and look into setting up our target, um, our projectile and um, maybe some uh, impact animations uh, on our target as well. Okay, so well, if we press play, we've got our character, we press Z and we see the firing animation. So when I press escape now, I've got the perfect frame. So I know where everything needs to be. Um, so I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a new blueprint class, actor, and I'm gonna call it target. Okay, what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna drop it into the scene, select our player start, right click on location, copy it, and then paste into location of our target. But I'm gonna zero the uh, Z axis. And I'm gonna place it somewhere around here maybe. I'm gonna double click. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add skeletal mesh. And I'll pick one of the skeletal meshes from, uh, from the minion pack. I'm just gonna rotate it as well in the scene. So basically what I'm doing, I'm rotating our blueprint that we just dropped into the scene. I'm gonna um, select the blueprint and maybe I'll pick something else, some sort of different mesh. Obviously you feel free to pick whichever you want. I'm just trying to pick something a bit more suitable. Maybe something like this. And I will scale it up a little bit so it's slightly larger than uh, our character. So now if I press play, I can see that the scale is somewhere about right. As you can see, there's something wrong with our character, um, mainly because it seems like it's floating above the floor, but our target is actually on the floor. So let's open our player character. Let's go to the um, viewport. And basically what is happening is that this capsule collision, it's raising our character. So it seems like uh, it's above the floor. The easy way to check it would be if you just press play, you press control and escape, you click on the eject here, and then by pressing and holding alt, you can rotate around because you do not possess the character anymore. So as you can see, the character is floating above the floor. So again, just to um, just to do it again. So press control and while holding control, press escape and then eject. If you want to go back to your character, just press possess and, and the input will work again. Okay, so if we now and go into our character blueprint. We can select our skeletal mesh. Let's change perspective to left instead. And let, let's maybe lower our, our character to be sitting at the bottom of the capsule. So now our character is actually on the floor. Don't worry about the camera because we're gonna fix the camera later on we're just trying to get the all the components that we need for now okay so let's maybe try to create a projectile now so right click blueprint 
and uh, let's try actor and we're gonna call it projectile one in our projectile let's add a sphere so we can actually see it but maybe let's change its scale to something like 0.3 okay now if you go to uh, the player character and what we could do we could before delay we can spawn actor from class in here we can type projectile one um, then ideally we want to spawn it from the socket location so imagine like uh, if the character is holding a gun there is a socket in front of his muzzle flash so we need location of this uh, socket so we can plug it in here and fire our projectile from this point we can compile it because the spawn actor actually uh, requires spawn transform so um, don't worry about it for now although let's maybe fix it now so we'll select skeletal mesh go into your skeletal mesh and then click here and go to skeleton and let's look for the muzzle flash as you can see we've got muzzle flash in here and it's called muzzle front okay but maybe let's try to create our own so a weapon weapon r right click and say add socket and let's call it m flash with lower cases and as you can see it's located somewhere here uh, what we want, we want to rotate it something like this and maybe position it a little bit in the center okay so let's save this skeleton uh, let's go back to the blueprint and now let's try to get socket transform uh, our socket name will be m flash with lower cases and let's plug it into the transform so as you can see the our projectile is being spawned in here uh, this is not what we want we want our projectile to be actually moving so let's add another component and this will be projectile movement component and type gravity here we don't want a gravity you ideally you want a gravity for some sort of grenades or um, heavy projectiles but in this for this example we're just gonna uh, set gravity to zero and maybe let's add a little bit speed to it so for the velocity put 500 into the x-axis okay so it's moving very very slowly but as you can see it's it's moving in some weird direction and i think it's because this weapon is being held um, with an angle so let's go back to our player character detach the transform and uh, right click and split pins and only connect the transform location so we won't have any rotations maybe let's try this Okay, yeah, cool so now it's basically uh, going in a straight line but obviously the orientation of it is a bit weird 
<clears throat> so maybe let's try add rotation here. I'm just going to drag it into my second monitor because it's easier than just constantly opening and closing. Okay, so that's a wrong rotation. Uh, let's try maybe on X. Uh, that's a no. How about Z? Yep. Okay, so just add 90 on uh, Z. Or maybe if your character is uh, facing somewhere else or some other axis, just play with those values. And I'm sure you can uh, come up with a, with the correct um, angle. Okay, so obviously yeah, the project is uh, very slow right now. So maybe try to make it a little bit faster. And project our movement. And let's set it maybe 1500 for now. And the thing is our projectile is colliding with everything. So maybe let's try disable uh, collisions and set it to overlap all instead. Okay, cool. So I think this is something a little bit better. Um, let's maybe select our enemy, our target, and add some animation to it. So let's add idle animation. If you just type idle, it should come up with uh, any idle animations that are usable by this uh, mesh. Okay, cool. So let's try maybe now collide with this uh, target. So select target and blueprint and add capsule, capsule collision and attach it to the root. Now let's go to the viewport. Let's just resize it. Oops. Okay. Something like this. And let's just add tag to it as well. So if you select capsule and scroll down, you see component tags here. So I'll tag and say target. Basically, our projectile will recognize this tag and um, we can set up some logic for the projectile. Okay, so select our sphere. It says overlap all here. So now let's click on plus next to on component begin overlap. A print string. So basically let's see what it's hitting. Okay, because we want the projectile to hit the uh, to hit the capsule of our target. So as you can see, we've got a uh, string of text on left top corner of the viewport and it's hitting the capsule which is exactly what we wanted so now if we go to the projectile and we basically say branch i'm gonna check the tag so if the tag of this component is target gonna print message which will be target 
target hit. And after this, we're gonna destroy the uh, this projectile actor. So let's see if that works. Cool. So the projectile disappears straight after hitting the uh, our enemy. Okay. So ideally, you want to. It depends, right? Because if you've got a projectile with the with the trail, right, you don't want this to be destroyed straight away. So what you want to do, you want to probably hide the project. You want to split the projectile for the trail and the projectile, and then you want to hide the projectile and keep the trail alive for another two or three seconds, and then delay, and then sorry, destroy the uh, the projectile actor. You need to make sure that collision is disabled as well. Um, in case you're planning to implement this into some sort of your um, game project. But again, we're not, we're not trying to design a game, we're just trying to, you know, create a basic setup so you can work on your VFX with the characters and animations. Okay, so let's just try again, see if it, everything works. Awesome. Okay. So I think this is it for this part. In the next part, we are gonna um, add some muzzle flashes, impact effect. We're gonna tweak our camera and maybe we will work on our environment um, a little bit as well. And that will include uh, post processing and uh, maybe we'll add some meshes from the Paragon environment. Alright, thanks for watching.